Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media, Nike Hot Seat, interview time. We go out to Virginia to talk to one of America's big men and one of wrestling's big guys that happens to be really good from Virginia Tech. It's Ty Walls. Ty, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I was very excited to see you last year in Atlanta, Georgia. But this year, I get to see you wrestle in your hometown, Cleveland, Ohio, in the NWCA All-Star Classic hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network. Let's get into it. You're going to face Wisconsin All-American Connor Medbury, and this will go at 285 pounds November 5th. It seems to me that there is a conflict at November 5th with your home opener. Is that is that correct? Yeah, we'll be wrestling uh, Edinburgh that same day. Okay, well, we'll try to get into that, how that's going to uh, work a little later on in the interview, if we have time. But let's talk about your opponent, Connor Medbury. This is not the first time you guys have met, is it? Uh, no, it's not. We wrestled in freestyle a couple times at the University of Nationals two years ago. And then uh, we also wrestled for third and fourth at the Midland Championships. Now, you're going to be wrestling in the Wolstein Center at Cleveland State. And this is a building that you've been in before. I uh, believe that there's some basketball games you attended there as well. Yeah, my uh, my high school team has played there. I've watched Cleveland State play there. I watched the U.S. Open there uh, actually a couple of years ago when I was in high school. So it's a it's a it's a nice venue, and it's, I'm excited to wrestle in it. You're a returner to this event this uh, this year in Cleveland, and I got to ask you, how important do you think it will be? Uh, to have this in Ohio, I mean, let's face it, you're from Cleveland. You went to school at Edward High School, St. Edward High in Lakewood, which isn't that far uh, away from Cleveland State at all. Uh, how much of an effect do you think that'll have on the, on the flavor of the match, and you know, at least from your perspective? Well, hopefully I can have a decent amount of fans there. Uh, my family is definitely not going to have any excuses for not being able to make it to this one, so that's a little hint for all of them. But, um, uh I think Cleveland's a great wrestling city and just the surrounding area outside of it. I think the whole area is great when it comes to knowing wrestling, having people be interested in wrestling and hopefully there'll be a lot of turnout. Obviously it's a little different area than Atlanta, Georgia is that maybe isn't an area that's known for wrestling as much, but Northeast Ohio definitely is. So there should be a good turnout of people. The fans should have a very good understanding of what's going on in the matches and, I think it'll be a great environment to wrestle in. I'm very excited for it. So your second straight appearance at the All-Star Classic really marks your return to home. i got to ask you, how much time did you spend training folk style during your um, your uh, your off-season? Did you train folk style in the off-season? Yeah. Um, as soon as the season ended, uh, right after NCAAs, took a week, week and a half off, then started lifting, then immediately started training freestyle again uh, for the University of Nationals. Then uh, after that, we, we got back into folk style, obviously, because that's the main focus for the season. That's what we're going to be competing in in, in March at the NCAA tournament. So, uh, yeah, I trained a lot of folk style. And we've been doing that for the past couple couple weeks for preseason with RTC. So that's what I love it. Nick Gwazdowski is gone. Adam Kuhn. <laughs> yeah. Adam Kuhn, red shirt. Kyle Snyder uh, is said to be moving back to 197. I gotta believe you feel that this weight class is really yours to take. Oh, um, I've always felt that way, but uh, you know, those those are all. I mean, it, it doesn't change my focus at all. That no matter who's ranked ahead of me, or nobody's ranked ahead of me, or where I'm at, where I fall in the rankings, I, I have a clear goal in mind, and I I have my eyes set on what I want. So it doesn't really exactly matter who's there, and and. We at Virginia Tech, we like to take an all-comers mentality. No matter who it is, whatever they've done, whoever it is, you're going to go out there and beat them. So, I know Dresser has that same same attitude when we go out to eat. He said, "Take on all comers," <laughs> and he grabs food off my plate, and I grab food off his plate. Same thing. <laughs> Dresser is a great coach. Um, you got a game plan? I got to believe you do. Uh, to even the series against Connor Medbury, because I think he holds a slight advantage, maybe a two-one. Uh, advantage over you? Uh, he beat. Uh, are you talking about how how many times he beat me? He's beat me three times. He beat me pretty bad in freestyle twice. He's really good at freestyle. And then uh, we had a two one match at Midlands, I believe. He he ended up riding me out for the the last period. But okay. um, 
Yeah, uh, he's a guy that you have to be tactical against. He's about as like wide as a refrigerator, so there's <laughs> it kind of limits your offense a little bit. So you have to really pick and choose your shots against a big guy like that. Plus, he's he's athletic, he's he's fast, so he's got a he's got a great offense of his own too. So you just gotta gotta wrestle a good match in order to beat him. So well, he may be as wide as a refrigerator, my friend, but you can lift a refrigerator. <laughs> Seen you do it. Um, Mike Moyer said that these two wrestlers are big and powerful and exciting to watch. If I go back to the tape from last year, I saw you move like uh, a little guy, and you were scoring some quick takedowns. But what's more importantly, it was a statement that came with every takedown. They were very powerful. Um, what have you done to improve on what I think was already a great and talented physique and a very powerful wrestler? What, what have you done to improve that? Um, well, with my body, I've made some changes. I think my weight's been significantly more consistent. Uh, that, that comes from my diet a little bit, just making sure I mean kind of the same things, the same amount of calories every day. That way it won't fluctuate so much and you won't have days where you come in and I'm, I'm 235 one day and then the next day I'm 247. So I, I think having a more consistent diet makes more consistent training and you feel better all the time. Uh, when it comes to my wrestling, I'm putting a lot of time in on that. I think, um, uh, lately I've definitely learned that wrestling is my sport. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't come to college to, to lift weights the whole time or to become a bodybuilder. I didn't come to, uh, try and be the best runner on our team. I came to try and be the best wrestler that I could be. And that's been a main focus of, of this whole training preseason, the summer, basically for the past two years that I've really, really put a lot of time and effort into getting better at wrestling. And that's come from different different people that's come into our room, like Mike Zadick and St. John, uh, Derek St. John. They they really brought in a lot of technical and and just some crazy experience from all over the globe, wherever they've learned from. And they're trying to they're trying to apply it to us, and, and we're taking it and, and and using it for ourselves and. I don't know. I'm getting pretty good at wrestling. Though. <laughs> you are already pretty good at wrestling. Okay. I got to just say that. Uh, I go back to last year's match against Adam Kuhn. You bested him nine, three in Atlanta. Um, that's a big guy. I mean, there's, there's a, there's a different way to wrestle a guy that's six, three, six, four, than a guy say that's five, nine, five, 10. Um, mm. you, you, gosh, correct me if I'm wrong. You're right at about six foot or you're right, right around there. I tell girls six foot, but I'm actually five eleven. Uh huh. You're one of us. <laughs> <laughs> the guys yeah. that want to be six foot and the guys that are actually five eleven. All right. So yeah. wrestling a guy that tall versus wrestling a guy that may be wider and shorter, maybe stockier, um, really does uh, you know requires some different tools, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think you have to take every every different body type differently. So. Uh, a taller guy, I actually prefer just because they have long legs. I think I've, I, I have great leg tax, so it makes it easier to get to their legs and, and eventually finish. But uh, a shorter, stockier guy, lower center of gravity, it's harder to finish on guys like that. It's also, you have, we have less space to, to get to their legs, so it, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But, um, yeah, definitely like wrestling taller guy. <laughs> Virginia Tech Hokies star. He's the heavyweight for the Hokies. We're talking to him. Ty Walls, he's going to be making his second straight appearance at the All-Star Classic. It takes place again in Cleveland, Ohio, November 15th. Excuse me. November 5th. <laughs> Why did I want to say 15th? But November 5th at the Wolstein Center. You can get your tickets online. Here's where you go. NWCAonline.com. That's where you're going to uh, catch up on all the uh, classic news that will take place in Cleveland. You'll want to be there, especially you folks in Ohio. You want to see the home state kid do it again? Well, all you got to do is get your tickets. It's presented by the Brewer Garrett Company, and we invite you to be a part of this year's kickoff to the regular collegiate season. Who do you want to uh, give a big shout-out to, Ty? Because I know there's some folks um, you definitely want to have there. Well, my Mima in Cleveland, Ohio, she uh, she <laughs> she better come out and uh, watch me wrestle. She hasn't been able to to come to a lot of my matches in college because of uh, she's old. Let's face it. But uh, so hopefully she comes out and, and watches me. And of course, my dad he he also lives in Cleveland. So them and uh, uh, my girlfriend Dee, she made me breakfast this morning. So I give her a shout out. <laughs> shout out to. Her. <laughs> and what does she make Ty Walls for breakfast? Uh, I had six eggs and some uh, turkey sauce. 
I took it a class as a uh, uh, thank you for that, though. So <laughs> that's a little give and a little take. I'll take the yeah, six eggs. Thank you very be. much. <laughs> Do you eat toast <laughs> with the eggs? No, I uh, I eat my carbs a little bit closer to practice. I'm really weird about it. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. you got to know what goes into your body uh, ends up hanging around for a while. You know? Exactly. Tickets available for the All Star Classic. By the way, we'll give them the exact website. It's goallstarclassic.com, or you can call the Wilstein Center box office at 844 407 2279. Tickets also available at Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts. It'll be streaming this year at trackwrestling.com. Ty Walt's been our guest in our first interview for the NWC All Star Classic, and it's always a pleasure catching up with this young man. Ty, where are you at on, on uh, your degree and graduating and all that? Fifth year uh, senior. Hopefully going to graduate in spring, and I'll be graduating with a property management degree. And will I use it? Probably not. I, I'm most likely going to go into coaching, but uh, who knows? It's good to have a degree, though. <laughs> I, I, know that, I know that the WWE has been knocking on your door. Is there still any interest there? Um, Actually, uh, next semester, I, I basically am done with my classes, so I could graduate uh, a little bit early. But um, I'm going to be taking an acting class or two just to uh, – see what I can do. But, uh, uh, of course I think the, the WWE is a lot of fun and, and the acting is one of the things that I've actually always wanted to do. I always had a dream when I was little to be an actor. I don't know. I just thought, I always thought it'd be fun. So now that, uh, the WWE could be a possibility, it would be, it would be pretty exciting. Cause that's a good, that's a good segue into, into acting. So I think it'd be terrific. And I think it would be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Ty Walls, thank you so much for the time today. The best to all the Virginia Tech coaches, of course, Kevin Dresser and staff, uh, and to your team as well. I look forward to seeing you in Cleveland on the 5th of November. Thank you very much, Scott. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper, our guest on the Nike Hot Seat today. One of my favorite big guys, Ty Walls, a fifth-year senior wrestling for Virginia Tech. He'll be in this year's 2016 All-Star Classic. Thanks for watching.